Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hottest talk show in backyard wrestling, Hot Talk. I am the host and the EBW general manager, owner, savior, and world champion, longest reigning champion, mind you, Mr. Johnny Burns. Now, we were going to just have a tag match or a contract signing, but I think that this episode deserves something just a little bit more because I think that I have a few things that I want to say to somebody, and I don't want anything in the way of that. So I'd like to bring out my guests, starting with Austin Creed. No, that's cute. Uh huh. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. That's cute. That's so shabby. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Just stand like that. A little bit more. No, no. Sure. Touch this time again. You lose your fucking fingers. I lose my fingers. You lose your job. Yeah. Okay. I don't give a shit about my job. Okay. Well, you give a shit about the championships. You lose the championships. You lose your job. We're fucking the nut. Shut up. You're losing. Anyway, that being said, um. Now, you're not who I actually need out here, but I figure we might as well join, invite the entire crowd. So, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest, Psycho! Hi! Hi, Hi buddy. Hi, but it's, it's friend. He's friend. To me. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, last and most certainly least, my okay. best friend, Carrie Animal Grove. No. Okay, no, you're, you're butchering it here. See, he's not, he's not the animal anymore. You know, he, I, he got hurt. He had to. So, I hope everybody knows uh, what we're here for. Uh, it's just a nice little war of words uh, before the upcoming episode. Uh, and I just wanted it to kick it off uh, with the actual point here, and uh, Psycho, if you don't mind. First things first. First things first. Uh, saw the contract. Don't. You guys are distracting me. Step away from the Sasquatch. That being said, I saw the contract. Uh, it's funny. You are all funny, uh, except for you. You're, you're my man. I, you're cool. Um, you guys are funny if you think like that with that toy is main eventing Night of Winners. No, no, no. So uh, me and you are main eventing for the really BW Championship. Uh, that is that that that's that's the main event. That's what it's all about. Me and you just happen to be collateral damage in that. So. Uh, I just, I, I, aside from that, just, stop it. You'll have your time. I just wanted to say that I think it's really cute that you think that this whole scheme of yours to get back at me after the year of torture I put you through is supposed to be this coming back story, this redemption story where you're going to get back to me and, you know, get, get every sense of justice that you think you deserve. No. The past year has been justice for me because you guys were the problem, okay? Yeah, this, this, because you guys, you guys treated me like I was a joke and then I, and then I took over EBW, I became a champion and then I showed it and showed it and got around and guess what? Now, now I'm the longest reigning EBW champion. So, I guess what? If you guys think I'm a joke, and I did all that, just imagine what it makes you guys look like. Adorable! It's so funny! You're hilarious. You're... Mmm. <laughs> so, I, I, I have to admit. I have to admit. Yes, you're right. I am smarter than I look. But I also look pretty good, so it's pretty stupid of you to think. But, you did lay down the foundation for Elite Backyard Wrestling. You made it what it could have been, and with some help along the way, you managed to get your hands on a couple of a couple of actual stars to get it where it needs to be. 
So to your credit, you had the right idea, but you couldn't get it off of its legs, could you? You needed my help to put it on the map and make it something important. So, yes, good job for having the idea. But I will, I, I will not accept you guys treating it like I didn't make it amazing. It's funny that somehow you created the narrative that I'm making this a comeback story when you're the one who laid everything down to begin Because of actions that I had nothing to do with, you laid down the match of you versus me, thinking it would be punishment towards me. Well, you know what? As I said, I gave credit. You know what? It's still super smart, right? You know you probably have the advantage. I was out of it for a while. But just know, just because you're out of it for a while doesn't mean you lost it. And I'll guarantee you, not only did I not lose it, I became better at it. And I'm going to show it at Night of Winners when I pin you down for a one, two, three. And you know what? I don't need to have no more rambling bullshit come out of my mouth. Because that right there doesn't end in a period. It ends in an exclamation point. Yes. Yes, boy. Exclamation point. Oh, my God. Just, you're my friend, by the way. Now look, no, but that's just it. That's just it. He, he's your friend. How many times have you guys? Why are you worried about him still? It's me. He's worried about Ghostface, and he should be. <laughs> However, I am not worried about you. Y you don't think I see what you're doing? That's a bluff. You're bluffing. There's, there's no way you've gotten better with your broke-ass bum shoulder and your crippling... Johnny, you're all talk. No smack. Nothing else. I put actions behind my words. You do the same if you want to leave a winner. Because I know I'm leaving a winner. I'm not worried about you. I'm not. I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about you. And Austin, with all due respect, I'm not worried about you. You know what? I didn't just lay foundation down for you two. I laid it down for people like him as well. Far more than what you will ever do. Now, Carrie, even if EV doesn't is as far as I go, I'm keeping you here with me. You think you're ever going to be something? You think you're ever going to be something? I know I'm gonna be something. I mean, you're something scary. I'll tell you that. Let them two say some words. We're not the only ones here. He got stuff on his mind. What? He got it, dude. stuff. There's really not much to say. But if you want this title, you gotta take it from my cold, dead hands. Because if you think you're going to beat me like you did Extreme Master, you got one thing wrong. I'm a lot better, I'm a lot stronger, and I will make you my bitch. I ain't scared of you. I have not been scared of you. Like your best friend over here. Your quote unquote friend who's scared of you. That promises you world title shots, mind you. Didn't he promise you a world title shot? So. He ain't your friend. Nobody's your friend over here. Cause nobody fucking likes you. And no, and everybody's been afraid to say. It. But you're not scared. All right. Cause underneath there, you're just Jagger Mathur. That's all you fucking are and ever will be. That's all you got to say. That's all you got to do. That's your friend, huh? Yes. That 
don't think he likes how the mean things are saying that. You mean the truth? Truth hurts only. Just like the truth is, Terry's gonna whoop your fucking ass. He's gonna lay your ass out in the center of that trampoline. One, two, three. Just like I'm gonna do this one. Well, you magic trick. Psycho, I want my title back. I got a trick of my own. Hey, uh, good luck with that. 